Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Wednesday Craft and Chat Live. And if you are watching this on the replay, thank you so much for watching the replays. I see. Let's see. We've got Victoria and Arlene and Janet, Anas, Maria, Terry. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I've been trying to figure out my light thing. Oh, let's see. Let me change the, I don't change this. You won't be able to actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Still frustrated with the lights. I can, um, I, I don't like the super bright shining in my face, which is what I need in order to not blow out. I don't know. Anyways, lighting's always an adventure for me. What are you guys doing today? I'm just getting a few, you might think I'm getting these ready for texturing, but actually these are for substrates because they are very cool to use. Hey, Shelby. All right, gonna put my hair up because I know what's gonna happen. Almost forgot to put my painting clothes on. Cannot tell you how many things I have ruined. Well, not ruined, I have decorated. <laughs> Victoria's editing a video. Shelby's at work, but sneaking in. Janet's at work. So that means that they'll be in and out. This is some, if you guys don't know about it, invisible glove. I Oh, is the autofocus going in and out? Let's see. It is. Let's fix that now that I know how to do that. I wish it would remember my settings every time, but let me... Let me get rid of the autofocus. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. Happy to have you join us. All right, that should be better. Oh, I, I just grabbed some business cards. Victoria says I got messy today, broke out the gesso and repurposed some old business cards. I, I was uh, grabbing substrates first. I maybe got a little bit too much invisible hands on, but that's okay. Had a long day today? Yeah, well, this is kick back and relax time, right? Actually, let me put my little cover back on and we'll talk for just a second about substrates. So again, today I have a lot of great background papers from when I did this last week and I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and keep going with it. So I've got of course, jelly prints that aren't quite right. Hey, Sharon, you're up early. Hi, Hallie. I got just good old printer paper. That's always great to use. I've got the peeled backings from a cardboard box. Hey, Paul. Ooh, landscape photography. Awesome. Look forward to seeing some of your pictures that you, you do as a result of that. So these are really great to use as a substrate because when you get the color on them, then you've got this texture as well and you can just kind of glue that down as a um, tuck spot or a journaling spot. I've got, what else in the way of substrates? I have some business cards. I have old cards that I have cut out in magazine, you know, the stiffer cards, it'll be great journaling cards. I've got packing paper, brown masking paper, green masking paper. I've got some tissue paper, some deli paper, some doilies, offcuts from scrapbook paper. Um, just, you know, anything goes. You guys know that. Anything goes. Sharon, you are up early. So early. And so what I tried to do is think about the color palette that I love to work in. And I tried to limit my stencils. I always get too many stencils out. And then I have to figure out where I'm going to put all the stuff. I wish I, I should take a picture of my desk at the end of this and you'll see how insane it was. I did set up, whoops, and then locked it. Places for things to dry. You, you do need to make sure you do that. Otherwise, you have things all over the place. Hey, Jersey Crafter Laura, how are you? Enchanted Dreams, hello. 
So last week I worked on my um, my round plate and my smaller plates. This one week I want to do my big one because uh, one of the things that I'm really bad about is that I get, hey Patricia, I get way too much paint on the um, plate. And so uh, the bigger plate gives me a chance to move it around just a little bit. So I am not going for amazing art to start. I'm going for getting some background pages down and then, hey Lorna, then I can do some other stuff with it. All right. So and we've got some old paint on here. We have some dog hairs. Yeah, I'm, I'm really bad. I am so bad at abusing my plates. No, it is not one of my kits. I know what I told you, Lorna. It's going to be another week. All right. Let's just grab. This is from one of my kits. This is from um, California Critters, but it's way too big to use in anything. Hey, Tuesday. Hey, Mariah. Just to give me an idea if I was doing okay on the, yeah, on the amount of paint. See, that already looks really cool. So, greens and browns and oranges. Hey, Lori, you made it over today. So, I want to know, when you sit down to play with the jelly plate, if you like to play with the jelly plate, do you go into it with a plan? Do you like to... You know, say, okay, I'm going to make papers for a particular project. I want to get color on fabric. I, you know, I'm going to sit here with my stencils, my three favorite stencils, and use them. This is one of my favorite stencils. Or do you just decide, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to play and see what happens. So now I've got these little things of cardboard that I have peeled aside. I'm just going to put some of that along the edges here. I'm not going to get a lot of the paint because it's pretty dry, but it's okay. This is just the start. You know, the, the whole idea about, you know, if you want to figure out how to build up layers, the jelly plate is the way to do it. All right, so I didn't get much on there and that's okay. Oh, I like that one. Let's put some mm, yellow is going to be kind of dark. Kind of smushing my my leaves, but again, I'm I won't claim to be a pro at jelly planing. I just like it because it's fun to spread the paint around and see what happens. So let's see if this does any better this time. Sharon says, my last session I went in with a plan because I knew I wanted to try printing on fabric, but mostly I just play to see what happens. Yeah. Mariah says, here's our process. Hey, Patricia, I need something to go with this. Do you have anything made or can you make it? And then Maria goes to work and makes it, right? All right, so I lost a lot of the, um, the design in there, and that's okay. But look at all these neat splotches. Oh, I love those splotches. I just want the splotches. I find it's really helpful when I have, you know, off cuts or things I've torn off of the edges of things and I can just keep my um, jelly plate filled with paint and keep filling them. Oh, look, see, I love that. Just like that. I love that. But I can do more. I can do more. Let's see if we can get my nice flowers on here and some darker green. Patricia's the gel plate printer and Mariah is the requester. I love it. Well, you guys have a system. It works, right? It works. A little bit of a different green. Uh, what do we want to add with the green? We'll add just a little bit. Oh, this stuff needs to be shook up. So anybody have anything 
new. They've posted. Tell us about your latest video, your latest project. Mariah, what did you guys do last uh, Saturday in your O2 early for me sessions? <laughs> All right, let's get this guy on here again and not leave it too long. Let's see what we can do. I do love this big plate. It just makes it so much easier for stuff. So, you know, as soon as I see some wet paint here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tap it up. It doesn't matter. Now we're starting something. Huh? I love the stencil. All right. Now. have anything that's oh I know let's just grab a piece of deli paper oh horizons that's right I forgot about that horizons and stencils did you guys know that Maria and or Mariah and Patricia have, are making their own designing their own stencils and they are for sale in their shop on Etsy PM artist studio if you guys have not printed on deli paper it's wonderful. I mean, I love printing on tissue paper, but you have to be a little bit more careful. The deli paper is strong. All righty. And I'm going to be strong, and I am not going to. Oh, you just ordered some Tuesday. Nice. We'll expect to see a video on that. I've got a couple of the little ones I'm going to. Um, use on my mini books. Didn't mean to get that quite so close together, but oh well. Print on the brown pack. Yeah, I love the brown packing paper and the um, masking paper are awesome. That's right. Lorna got a glow forge. We are going to see some fun stuff coming out of her as soon as she figures out how to turn it on, right? <laughs> Yeah, deli paper is awesome. I just, I love it. Okay, let's put some circles over the leaves. Paul says, I've started this week going through all my photos from 2012 to today, moving them into fold folders and culling a lot of them. You know, I did that when my laptop was getting really uh, full. And then last night I actually was wishing that I had a couple of the old ones. I have been editing all my photos and things on the laptop, which is rather a pain because you can't do any color calibration on the laptop. So I think I'm gonna have to move over to the big monitor for a lot of stuff. Hey, Jessica, I didn't see you come in. All right, not a lot on there, just a few more layers, but that's okay. See, and I said I set up a place for stuff to dry. Didn't use it, forgot I had it there. Yeah, so Victoria and Terry, we need to make a list of the regulars here, you know, their shops, their YouTube channels. Um, so that way you guys can just go in and uh, plunk it down. If one of you has a chance to grab Janet's Instagram, Janet, what is it called again? Janet something. She's doing the uh, 52 tags handmade, and she's got some beautiful work up there. In Tuesday's YouTube channel, I would love to see somebody post that because I would love to see Tuesday's YouTube channel grow. Oh, and my goodness, I forgot to tell you guys my big news, huge news, and it's because of all of you. Thank you so much. Today, I hit... 7,000 subscribers. I just cannot believe it. It does not even seem possible. Um, so thank you, all of you who have helped me reach this point. All right, let's see. Too many stencils. 
You started another comfort heart. Your comfort hearts are so beautiful. Um, you can, uh, Victoria or Janet, what's the name of your Instagram? Because you can go look at Instagram without having an account. I would just like to get her link in there. All right, let's just do some business cards. Now, the thing about business cards, you can use the, the writing side to cover it up if you want, and then you have a blank side for something else, or you can cover both sides. And I actually have a project. I meant to dig it out, so maybe I'll do that. I'll get a few business cards covered up, and then I will show you. Thank you all. I appreciate it. It's it's you guys have really helped me get to where I am. I have way too many substrates. All right, Mariah, Patricia, what is workspace management for um, jelly printing? <laughs> Probably not to do it live unless you have a lot more room than I do here. But normally I have the this desk has got the, the pullouts on the side, which are awesome. But uh, my computer's on it. <laughs> Let's see. What do we want to put on top of here? Have some white. I do have some white. Janet creates 917. Okay, Instagram and Etsy. Thanks. Hey, Brenda. How are you doing today? And Terry has done, um, she's doing something, I can't wait to see them finished. She is making stationery using uh, a couple of my kits and she posted some pictures in the group. So if you're not already a member of the Facebook group, you can go over there and see it. And she's making them for her mom, but maybe she might make some physical ones to sell. They're so pretty. All right, let's see what we get. So this is the brown masking paper. And again, I just want to get some color down. That's all I want to do. Let's just get some color down. Yeah, we need to get her set up on Instagram. You're right, Tuesday. Yeah, it doesn't help too. I really, I should raise my desk except if I rate or my desk chair because my desk is so high so you can see my elbows are right here at the desk so even though it's green on green I love it and what I like about you know right now you can see these are some of my old cards from when I was writing you can still see the writing through as the layers build up you're not going to see that so one of my other goals today is just to see if I can empty any paint bottles. Yeah, I had to make a decision. Um, that, you know, I didn't do my Etsy shop with my name, and I sort of wish that I had now, but okay everything else is my name something you have to think about and if you're an artist and you're going to do a website you might want to put the name the word art in your website like um, Susan Taylor Brown art although my name's already so long because that does help supposedly in SEO Yeah, brown paint. <laughs> well, Terry, you can connect it to your Facebook account now since they're they're owned by the same people. We can have a chat about it if you want. Yeah, I pulled this plate out, and I swear it had been. Um, now I should do something on there, right? We should do some kind of a design. Let's just do this real quick. Go over this, to print, press it down. That's true, Tuesday. 
you are lucky like that. My name is just so long. It doesn't fit in a lot. Like in Twitter, I could get Susan Taylor Brow. I couldn't get the N in there. So I did go. I have an old Twitter account that's got Susan Taylor Brown on it, but I I don't use it. It's, it was what I did with writing. But then I don't I don't like Twitter. I'm just not a Twitter fan. I used to be. All right, let's just see if we can get some more in here. What else do we have? I love these little bits of cardboard. Janet said, I changed my name because I'm not just, yeah. And the stuff you have to think about, you know, we start off interested in one thing and realize we're interested in other things or more things. And there's nothing wrong with that. We want to evolve. Sharon says, I've been using my scrap matte, matte photo paper on my jelly plate. And yeah, I love using them for jelly printing now. Also fabulous for moving old paint because it sticks so well. Yep. Yeah, um, Mariah, I was looking at your channel art today because that's something I've been working on is my channel art. Uh, it needs to be improved and was thinking how wonderful yours looks. It shows up so nicely on mobile as well. All right, let's see if we can check this out. Yeah, Twitter, when it first started, I was, you know, an early adopter to Twitter years ago. And, you know, the writers, we all hung out over there. It was a lot of fun uh, because it was mostly writers. And we were just talking about writing and what we were working on and kind of encouraging each other to, you know, get in there and work. And for a couple of years, it was, it was really, really nice. I had a lot of fun there. But I think... What I use it for now is if I have to complain to a company about a product, which hasn't happened very often, but it is good. Yeah, Tuesday, the graphic designer in you has to make your channel art. Paul, did you have trouble finding Tuesday's channel? Because I have always had a little bit of trouble finding her channel for some reason. All right, let's see what else we have. Uh, I don't want that little one. Uh, maybe we're just going to pick up paint. We'll just pick up paint on business cards here. Oh, okay. I see you were looking at the name itself. Yeah, I've got the template. Um, I've just never been pleased with my value proposition that I had up there. So I've been kind of working on that. Mariah, you and Tuesday are both graphic designers. So there's no, no excuse except for time. I decided this morning that my problem is not time. It's the Gatawanas. You got to have the Gatawanas about whatever it is that you're putting off doing. And if you don't have them, then maybe that's not what you're supposed to be doing right now. Do you love those polka dots? Okay, let's get some orange polka dots on here. What I think I'll do... Maybe next week I will take a lot of these jelly papers I've been doing and do what I do with my next layers, which is usually glazing or gesso or something to kick it back. Oh, you became an Irish citizen. How cool is that? My mother-in-law is an Irish citizen. Hi, Diane. Welcome. How are you doing today? I love this masking paper. It's nice and strong, but it's not that thick. Okay, maybe I do want one more layer of the darker. I've never been somebody who does all my layers in one shot on the jelly plate. I, I tend to, you know, do some. <clears throat> That's way too much black. Do some and then think around what else I might want to do with it, come back. Okay, this is going to be really dark. This will actually be good for covering some, some of the writing side. As I was doing this, I realized that I didn't need to cover the writing side for the project I was going to do, but we'll just do a couple of them, huh? Let's just see how many of these we can get covered. Else 
else do we have in here? That'll work. Okay, I don't need to cover the writing side. I just need to get color on the other side. Hey, Barbara. I can't tell how many people. Oh, 30. Oh, wow, I think this might be one of the largest ones yet. I think jelly printing is a little bit popular. Junk Journal Market Lori B. Could somebody grab her channel link for her and pop it up there because she is an awesome journal maker. She just posted a new one this week. Hey, Nana. Okay, see now I was saying that was too dark and I absolutely love those greens and black together. So, you know, I'm gonna have to do some more of that. It is very hard to self-promote. And I struggle with it all the time, which is why I'm grateful to all of you that help promote me. Those of you that use my kits and post about them, I really appreciate that. All right, so evidently black and that green is a combination that I really like. I'm gonna do some more of that. Oh, thank you, Barbara. See, I needed you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Barbara's my spotter with that. Don't need to um, distract you guys. A little bit of paper on there, and that's okay too. Okay, look at the outlines that the business cards gave. Isn't that going to be some interesting? Oh, the screen is all blobbed up. Everything is blobbed up. <laughs> My jelly plate doesn't want to lay flat. Yeah, I've, I've abused this poor thing. Let's see. Oh, big old blob. I should just smush it around, right? I'll just take out the, the other stuff. I did not bring a paper towel. <laughs> Fun but messy. Yes, very messy. Let's see if we can. Yeah, finger painting. I was never good at that. Oh, hubby to the rescue with the paper towel. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So that's awful lot of green. I'm just gonna gonna get some more color down. Maybe needing to upgrade my jelly plates if I want to get anything really, really nice. Bye, Diane. Have an awesome Wednesday, whatever you are going to do. You have a wish or a need to paint something with your fingers, even if they're just backgrounds. It's been a need that's been building in me. <laughs> well, go for it, Sharon. Well, this is very strange. I, I wonder if there's something under. No, it's just my silicone mat is. All right, let's just see if we can get color over these guys here. Aren't their videos amazing? To tell you, I watch a lot of you guys' videos, but I watch it when I'm not able to comment. We've got some really creative people here. Oh, you're not. Oh, I heard. I heard a bye. I thought I heard bye. <laughs> Oh, it was Maria. Okay, bye-bye, Maria. Thanks for popping in to say hello. Wow, I'm glad I put on the invisible gloves. Hi, Hallie. So you're new to jelly painting. How big is your plate? Do you have it secured? Nothing is a dumb question. The only dumb questions, we all know it, right, are the ones that we don't ask. 
Um, and because if I don't know the answers, because I don't know the answers to everything, a lot of people do. This is the big one. I think it's like 12 by 14. Um, I like it because I can, you know, do a whole bunch of things at once. And like I said, I, I tend to put too much on the plate. I have every size jelly plate there is except for the five by seven, which I couldn't believe I didn't have. So um, I use them when I get into the jelly printing mode, I use them like crazy. Is it secured to anything? No, it's just on a silicone, uh, silicone um, baking, you know, like pastry mat. Not her shop. Um, look for her channel, Terry, on YouTube. Yeah, not wasting any space. I just want to oh, look at this. How cool. Wait a minute, where'd it go? I just, I love this. So these guys, if you do um, cover things like old business cards and index cards, you can make them into journal cards or you can um, make them into books, which is what I'm going to do. And I will show you that. Honest, when do you consider someone a good journal maker? What defines a good journal? This is great. Um, yeah, Tuesday says a good journal maker is someone who makes a journal for real. That's it. You don't need to do anything special um, because we all have different styles. We all have different um, things that really excite us in a journal. Some people like to have more of a glue book style. Some people want to have... Um, something where they're drawing in it like a sketchbook. Some people want to have a journal where every page is just something to look at and be inspired by. So, you know, don't make a judgment as to whether that's a good journal. What's not a good journal for you might be a good journal for somebody else. I do not clean my jelly plate. <laughs> Eventually when I get tired of the paint buildup, I'll um, make sure it's all dry and I'll put a thin coat of something over it. I have heard that you can condition it with baby oil. Okay, this paint is pretty thick on here and I'm okay with that because I want to go ahead and see if I can get these cards the rest of the way. You're going to be so hooked Enchanted Dreams. You're going to have a blast. An absolute blast. What's really fun when you cover these cards like crazy and then go back over them with some metallic sprays. Mmm, yummy, yummy. So good. Let's see, where are my little pieces of cardboard? See, these guys are great to tear these up like this and then use them to fill your space. Because can't you picture that? Oh, well, the picture it better when it's all covered. But you have something like this and then a little bit of gesso and that's a great journaling spot. Nobody's gonna have a teared, a torn journaling spot just like that. Yeah, we all have to get past the hang up. And when I say we all, I mean me. And then you guys can come along for the ride. We need to get past the hang up of comparing ourselves to everybody else because we're all going to be good at some things and less good at other things. Ah, Terry found your YouTube channel. Thank you, Terry. I do not know if you can use oil paint on a jelly plate. Patricia, uh, Mariah, do you guys know? And yeah, it's easy to start recognizing um, individual styling. Somebody told me the other day that when they looked at my Instagram, they didn't even have to see the name. They knew it was my Instagram page. And that made me feel really good. It was like, okay, people are starting to, to feel like that. They can recognize me. Texture paste is a next great layer. Yes. Crackle paste. Um, anything to just give some more texture. Texture paste through the stencils. Nana says, I like journals, but I get bored and have to do other things. Do you get like that? Oh, my goodness. That's the story of my life, Nana. That is the story of my life. I'm jumping around from project to project all the time, which is why there are so many UFOs, unfinished projects around. Um, you know, I, I want to do slow stitching. Like most of the times I try to do slow stitching in the evenings unless I'm in a digital art mode and then I'm working on digital art. And uh, then I want to do some mixed media. Uh, when I was cleaning the garage recently, there were a bunch of old canvases that uh, somebody gave me when I was teaching to use with the students. And 
they're not anything that you know are worth using as they are, but I figured, oh, I'm gonna do some mixed media over them. Or I wanna go collage and I don't wanna collage for a journal, I wanna collage on a canvas. So, you know, I'm lucky enough that I can follow my muse wherever I wanna go. Okay, these are gonna be dark, which means they're gonna want metallic. Yeah, I never clean mine either. So this is dark, but it's got some layers and stuff going on in here. You know what I should do? Let's put my little, so I showed you guys these last week where you just cut your paper up like you were going to do a um, snowflake and I just cut different shapes out of them. And sometimes I like these better than stencils. Where I was, was I an art teacher? Oh my goodness, Nana, no. No, I got kicked out of art class because I had no talent. <laughs> because I did not understand perspective. I was told to leave the class. Uh, so I did not do any art for many years. Let's get some brown paper in here. And I came to art when I was still writing and I had writer's block and I kind of needed to um, figure out something I could do just to get my brain shifted in another direction. So I started playing with art. And then I decided that I was done with writing. I had done enough books and was tired of the publishing world. So I decided to move on and have not looked back. Yeah, I clean my brayer when it won't roll. Murphy's oil soap is great to soak your brayer in and then everything comes right off. I have a little um, plastic thing here with a wet paper talon if I really wanna clean it off while I'm working. But the jelly plates, you know, my plate from last week has still got all the paint on it from what we used. Yeah, you're not alone. So shout out here in the chat. Do you go on one project start to finish? Or do you bounce around project to project? Love this combination. And I love these little marks. You're not going to get these marks. I, I lied. I said I was going to use the stencils. I might just keep going with my little paper things. Yeah, I was a bad teacher. I was not a good teacher. And of course, you know, if you're the kind of person that can just let go of that kind of stuff, I mean, great. But as a kid, you know, I was a preteen. Um, it's harder to do. Now, the cool thing about this, okay, as the paint builds up, you might decide you don't want to use it as a stencil anymore. This might become something that you want to collage. Yeah, right now, um, out front, there's a bunch of fabric that is drying in the sun that I have coffee dyed. Uh, last week, I coffee dyed a ton of different papers. In fact, I'm going to show you a video on that, some, some interesting things that happened. Um, next to my place where I sit and watch TV, I've got my slow stitching. I have uh, journal papers for journal on the other desk, so, you know. Yeah, Tommy, what is it? That was with me, it was eighth grade. And the teacher's like, nope, you, you gotta go over to home ec, which I absolutely hated. And so he booted me out. He trained, I mean, I, I literally, I came to school the next day and in homeroom, they handed me a little piece of paper that said, you're no longer in this class, now you go to this class. And Barbara's back. Jessica says, I tend to go start to finish or very nearly finish. That's terrific. Yeah, Arlene, people do not realize the power of their words, which is why, you know, we have the Facebook group so we can support one another as best we can. Whoops, I should have put some more paint down first. Let's see. Let me just put some more yellow. Junk Journal Market. Lori says, when I was around 10, my mom let me send in a drawing to a matchbook advertisement that said, draw this picture and send it to us. We will tell you if you have a future in art. Yeah, it was an ad for an art school. Absolutely, Enchanted Dreams. Are you in the Facebook group? I'm sorry, I forget who's who. Is that Randy? No. I don't remember. When you guys have names that aren't your names, it's, it can take me a while. Lori says, I got a very official letter back saying I should look into another area. Oh. <laughs> That's bad. It's bad. And they don't realize your age either. So then as a kid, 
I, instead of sending in the art things, what I did was I sent in poems when I was about that age, you know, they're saying we're looking for, you know, for books. And so I sent in a bunch of poems and I got this wonderful letter back telling me all these great things about my poetry. You know, I was like 12 years old and uh, how fabulous it was. And they wanted to publish my book and I got so excited. And then they said, you know, if you just send us $2,000, and I mean, mind you, this was like 40 years ago. So $2,000, then we'll publish your book. I didn't realize it was a self-publishing thing. I had no idea what self-publishing was back then. Was really mad that my mom wouldn't, you know, plunk down the money for it. Oh, Lori, 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 Lori. Sorry. Yes, Lori, please post your video. And you're in the group. You post it in the group and we will all support you. And Lori B, it is so sad that a teacher or a, a criticism, not, not a teacher, that, you know, a company like that, they have no idea who's on the other end of the line. I mean, all my years in writing, I got some really horrible rejection slips. Oh, my goodness, they were hideous. Yeah, Lori Edwards. There we go. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry. It takes me a while. So what I want, what, what book are you adding her to, Barbara? Now look at this. So you can't really read what the writing is underneath here. Hey, Took. Took's making a mess along with this. But I love this. You've got the marks and a little bit of the, the words. This is fabulous. That one's done. That one's almost done. Okay, small substrates evidently seem to be my thing today. Arlene says, my mom told me at a young age that I would never be any good at art, that I needed to find something else to do. I did not do any art for 30 years. Yep. Sharon says, I've always struggled to share what I create. I put so much of my heart and soul into each piece that it becomes so personal. I'm trying to have a no fear attitude. Yep, that's, that's it. No fear attitude about sharing. Um, those of you that are watching that might be afraid to share, you know, in a big scale, remember our group is small. We don't even have 300 people in there yet. So it's a good place to, to practice sharing. It does. It takes a lot of bravery. One of the things I'm doing with changing my channel art is putting up um, kind of a different message. It's that, you know, I found my courage to create and you guys can find it too. Uh, what it takes, though, is surrounding yourself with people like are here that are going to support you. And if you find people in your circle that are not supporting you, that are, you know, the negative Nellies, maybe rethink how much you need to have them in your circle. You know, remove the toxic influences from your life. We, we can do enough of that on our own in our heads, right? We don't need any help. Yeah, it's, it's scary to share because it's something that we've created. Nobody else has created it. So they can't say, oh, well, it looks just like so-and-so's because it's not. It's, it's yours. You did it. Um, but when you share it and you get the support from the supportive people, it, it just opens up. I don't know. It just opened up something in me. It makes me feel like creating more. I've often said I will work for praise, which is not the best way to be working, but it's sort of what happens for me. Yeah, like Tuesday says, find the safe places to share your work and experimentations, and you will always be safe in our group. And if you're not, if for any reason at any time somebody in our group is unkind, you need to speak up because, boom, they're out of there. There, there will be no second chances on that kind of thing. You have got to be kind yeah, Lori, we're all too hard on ourselves, I think. I mean, maybe there's some people that have like this super confidence. Oh, love this. But I think they're few and far between. And I think a lot of people have just gotten really good at faking it. Oh, Lori. Yeah. See, all of you wonderful, talented artists and look, never looked at myself as an artist. But you are, Lori. I loved your current journal that you posted, your Tim Holtz journal. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, it's much harder to remove the toxic family members, but it can be done. Yes. 
Oh, Sharon says, I'm not necessarily scared of criticism, just the fact that it's personal. It's been an interesting thing to share and receive feedback, positive or negative. Victoria says, I love a lot of my projects, but then when I come to share them, I start doubting them. Yeah. Well, we're all amazing. Thank you, Lori. But we're, we are. We are all amazing. And, you know, if you just think, I mean, for some reason, you know, the way our brains are wired, we, we remember all the negative stuff so easily and we forget the positives. Hi, Linda. Welcome. Yeah, Terry said, it's difficult when you're the parent. I was a good person in her eyes, but I was the ugly child. Oh, Jessica said she just made her first rust dyed fabric. It's so cool. That's awesome. So a suggestion for all of you. Go to wherever it is you're posting your work. Look at the comments and then do either screenshot them copy and paste, whatever, but make yourself a book or make yourself a file that's just for you. It's not, you know, it, it, it's not testimonials like you're going to put on your website to sell something. It's for people that are, are saying to you, this is awesome. I love how you did such and such. Oh, this, you know, I've tried to do that. It didn't work nearly as well as you. You, you did great work on whatever it is that you posted and save that. You know, I've started doing that when I started doing the talking heads and, you know, talking about my little creative talks in the garden and stuff. Um, I started doing that because I needed to remember the good things because my brain was saying, oh, nobody ever says anything good because I only remember the bad stuff. Tuesday says, think of yourself as a creator. That's much easier for us to accept about ourselves than the label artist. I love that. Or like Tim Holtz says, you know, we're makers. We make things, so we're makers. I like that phrasing, too. So Brenda says, I know this will give me a negative comment, but I'm not that fussy on Tim Holtz, although I got one in the mail yesterday, and it was nice. So you're not a crazed, you're not a, a Tim Holtz fanatic. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not going to get you negative comments. I tend to not use a lot of Tim Holtz stuff just because there's a lot of other people doing things with Tim Holtz and they get really excited about it. And for me, it's just another, I mean, I do like the, uh, my distress inks and my alcohol inks as far as that kind of stuff goes, but I don't have his stencils. Um, I don't buy his scrapbook papers anymore. I have some that I'm using up. Jessica. Yeah. What Tuesday said, you can feel safe enough to post in our group and, and you build up your courage. Now, you know, courage is a muscle. It's just like anything else. Uh, Jessica, have a great day with the horses. Thanks for popping in. Oh, some have gotten backlashing for saying they do not like. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I don't like the paper dolls. They don't work for me. But then I realized, and this took me, I mean, I really only realized this about six months ago. I don't tend to do a lot of things with people. I love vintage photographs and I have a lot of great vintage photos in my shop. And I used to, you know, collect them for writing projects, but I realized I don't tend to use faces and people like that in my art. Oh, this is coming out nice. These cards are going to be great. Music numbers and butterflies. Yeah. Sherry says, I just got a book called I'm Awesome by Sarah Catherine. It has prompts and activities to remind you why you're amazing. That is fabulous. I love that. See, now look at this. This was just a box that I ripped that paper off of. And I'm. this is going to be a great collage piece. Absolutely. All right. What other color do we want to put in here? Just maybe we'll do a little bit of red. Yeah, and I look at the um, beautiful, like the lacy journals. I love looking at the lace journals that a lot of these gals are doing with the shabby chic stuff. Um, and they often have a beautiful woman, you know, vintage woman on the front. And I love looking at them. I think they're gorgeous. But I tend to, I realize, oh, wow, I was collecting these things and I'm not using them. But you learn that about yourself the more you, you do your art. And the more kind of research I've been doing into creativity lately and just kind of how to be happier with where I am in, in my artistic life, basically all points back to one thing. 
I'm not playing anywhere near enough. And maybe you aren't playing nearly enough either. If everything that you're doing, you're thinking about, is it going to sell? Am I going to make any money off of this? Um, it's the wrong way to be approaching your art. And I've been guilty of that. I have been doing so much thinking about, is this going to sell? Is this going to make me any money? Um, is anybody going to like this? What if they hate it? That I had not been coming to my art with a sense of joy, which is why I'm going to be doing some jelly printing for a while, because how can you not be joyful? You know, when you're doing jelly printing, I mean, you, you can't not be joyful. Where'd all my little colored, my little papers go? There we go. I mean, this is just fun stuff, right? It's just fun stuff. And And of course, we all fall into that habit of, you know, we got to buy it because everybody else in the world has bought it. I want some more of my little paper, you guys. At least one more. There's room for this guy here. All right. And let's grab a piece of deli paper just to press these guys down. Yeah, other people use them and they look very cool, but they're just not anything that I want to have in my art. Not that I don't like Tim Holtz. I went too far down here. Not that I don't like Tim Holtz. I just prefer to create things of my own. I shy away from using what everyone else is using. Yeah, Arlene, I think that's the, the thing is with a lot of us. Sharon says, I think all artists will gravitate towards products that appeal to their style. So if Tim Holtz isn't your thing, that's absolutely okay. Absolutely. Diane says it's hard to get his stuff in the UK. Yeah. I actually meant to push that down elsewhere, but that's okay. It's overpriced. Oh, that's right. I remember you saying how hard it was to get the vintage ink. You know, and I, I love the inks. I use the inks like crazy. Hey, Patty. How's your jaw? Well, Lori, we're, we're going to have some business talk coming up here. I'm, I'm still working on a couple of things with that. But hey, Carmen, welcome. Happy to have you here. I'm jealous, Victoria. It sounds like you're going to have a great wet space. Arlene says, what is your style is a question I always dreaded and until I came up with the perfect label, it's the me style. Yeah, and that's all it should be. I mean, we all, all of us copy. This is how we learn, right? In art school, I'm told, I didn't go to art school, so I don't know, that they teach you to copy the masters. You know, this is how you learn what appeals to you. Um, and sometimes there's things, like I've been watching this gal lately. Uh, she's an abstract artist, and I do not consider myself any kind of an abstract artist, really. Uh, you know, I mean, I might be putting different abstract things down for backgrounds, but I'm not thinking about it in terms of it being art. But she was talking about, you know, sketchbooks, and which is something that I want to go back to is using sketchbooks as a way to explore, you know, what I enjoy doing, what styles. And she says, when you work in your, your sketchbooks, then you should be looking at it and saying, well, I like the colors or I like the shapes and you, you know, make notes, take a picture of it if you need to. So you can come back and say, okay, here's where I realized I liked all these colors. You know, I, I tend to keep going back to this color palette or here's where I really like to um, do these shapes or these marks. Everything about making journals tells me I need to have focal points on images, but what I really want to do is make decorative papers and fabrics my focal points. I really want to make fabric my focal, focal point, and I'm starting to feel like it can get, you can give yourself permission to just be me. Sharon, that is amazing and so true. You know, we think we need to do something a certain way because we've seen everybody else doing it that way, and we don't. Um, I thought the same thing as far as people, and I realized that's why I had a lot of unfinished journals is because I was starting to put them together with things that just didn't appeal to me. Arlene says, I get the free fashion magazines, cut out a person, glue them on a cracker box, fussy cut it again, and I have my own people. Love it. T. 
Terry says, I like Tim Holtz. I think it's uh, great as a designer. He tries to make useful products that make it easier to create. Even if it's expensive, someone else comes along and makes a knockoff of that that we can afford. Yeah. And that's just it. Is we all like, I don't care for the delusions line. It doesn't work for me. And there are people that absolutely love it. Oh, Lori, I can't draw a straight line either. Forget that. Okay, let's get some, um, let's get a stencil down here. Tossing things on the floor. What I really wish was that I had a room that was had a washable floor. So this is just um, plastic, I don't know, embossed something or another. Get some marks on here. Honest, it's a girl. Oh, see, now I've got so much paint on there, it just slid all over the place, but it's okay. Yeah, and that I have a space in the living room that's supposed to be dedicated to that. I just have not been good about keeping that desk off clean so that I can, you know, get in there and do that sort of stuff when I want to. All right, let's do, let's see if we can get this one covered up. Sharon says, I truly believe that your heart and soul tells your fingers and hands what it needs to create next. That is the me style. Absolutely. That's why I always say I create with my heart and soul. Yep. Paul says, as a creator, you have to listen to your ancestors. Ooh, that's good. You know when something is perfect, when you hear them say, that's enough, child. Paul, that is fabulous. I love that. Yeah, I often, you know, people say, well, how do you know when something's done? Okay, Mariah, see you later. And, and you know when something's done innately, it just, you see it. You, you see it and you say, that's it, I'm, I'm done with it. And sometimes I think something's done and I put it aside and I come back to it months later. And... Uh, I think, oh, that's exactly what it needs. And I do something else to it. See, look at, isn't this getting to be juicy? And of course, then I can, you know, I could tear out little bits. I could cut stuff up. Let's see what we got on this. I think deli paper is my favorite lately. Yep, this is getting some good grungy stuff on there. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to probably sell. I sold off a bunch of my stencils, and I think I'm going to, I'm ready to get rid of more. Uh, what colors do we want here? A little bit more of the red. I realize I'm um, more into making my own marks. Let's see here. You need an oven? You don't have an oven. Oh, what would you need an oven for? Did I miss something? Nana says, when you know when you come back and finish a project, it makes you feel, it absolutely feels so good. Yeah, there's just some, some good things happening here with just being absolutely random. And I think it's the, I think it's my, my snowflake papers. Okay, Paul, uh, let us know, report back. Let us know how the landscape photography seminar went. I'm just loving your photography so much. Yeah, Carmen, absolutely. Stepping aside for a bit and then you come back to your work, it's like you get new inspiration. You, you can see what's missing. Or maybe something isn't missing and it really is finished. Hey, Barbara. Welcome. I'm glad that you came out of lurk mode to say hello. We have a fabulous group of people here. They are all supportive and friendly and chatty. And I absolutely love spending my Wednesdays with them. All right, I'm going back to these guys and I'm going to have to get my paper. See, I would have even more room if I didn't have my stencils out, right? So we will fix that. We will fix that up. Ah, Terry's got a recipe up there for the jelly plate. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's um, if they're not nice and welcoming, you know, we're going to have to have a talking to because I just... 
I want this to be a creative group. Barbara, there should be a link in the description box for my Facebook group if you're on Facebook and you can come get this, this kind of support all the time. You know, Nana, I think that's what it is, is I'm bored. Plus, they look um, they look like what they are, right? They've been manufactured. So I see, you know, if I watch a lot of mixed media, art journaling, junk journal, or um, jelly stuff, then I see a lot of the same stencils, and then I'm no longer interested in using them. And that in the beginning, when I first started arting, I needed stencils because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So now I've got um, a select group of stencils that I like to play with, but I don't think I need nearly as many as I have. Ah, so Barbara starts shenanigans. We can always use shenanigans. Um, did I lose a lot of the rust color? No, I don't think so. I mean, everything that I've posted has all been after it's been uh, rinsed and neutralized. I'm dreading one of the things on my list that I've got to do and I want to do is I have all my rusty bits. I probably have four buckets of rusty bits that I have got to do something with. Let's get a piece of deli paper because I think this is going to be good. Um, I should put a color over the top of that, huh? Let's do a little bit of a green. Shenanigans are awesome. Just a little bit. I don't know if this will work or not. Yeah, my husband has got the world's best laugh in the world. So he's in a meeting. He laughs, and it makes me laugh, too. Yeah, you know, it's been a while since I did it. I'd have to look up the order of, of how I did things. But the vinegar smell, I think, goes away. The thing that I find the hardest with the rust fabric is that... It's hard to get a needle through it. I just need to glove up, you know, because, you know, I'm very conscious of the fact that, you know, rest is the, the kind of rest that we're doing with the metal bits um, is dangerous. And although, I, you know, make sure if you're just starting to rest and do things with rest, make sure your tetanus shot is up to date. Sharon, I cannot believe you don't have any of this. Look at this. It's so cool. I love this. Oh, I love this. Wow. Um, Tuesday, I'm trying to remember what I did. Somebody that's done it more recently. I should show this a little bit more. This, this is very cool. This doesn't need anything else. You know, there's places here that do, don't have any paint on it. But I'm not going to do anything with this because I can already picture myself adhering this down as a, uh, I think maybe I'm just going to be doing my paper things and my deli paper. Um, vinegar, salt, salt water after the rusting and, you know, rinsed it in salt water. And then vinegar, I think, was what was came after that. Yeah, it definitely had that patina look to it. All right, let's see. And the, the neat thing about doing jelly printing for backgrounds for collages and, you know, what, whatever your collage is, whether it's going on a tag, it's going in a junk journal, um, it's going on a canvas, is you don't need to have the fancy stuff. I mean, I didn't, I was going to get out my mark makers and I decided I wasn't even going to do that because there's other stuff. All right, that's got, eh, that's mostly done. I know, Patty, because it's different every time, right? Let's just see if I can finish getting color on these guys. All right. Let's see, have a little more so I can clear off my space just a little bit. Ah, thanks for putting Patty's link up. Patty has the most wonderful sales. I have patty packages coming my way and I cannot wait. All right, let's. Oh 
Lori, my husband picks the worst time to call. Huh? Have I tried putting the paint on your folded deli sheet? Oh yeah, the smushing. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I have my flat sheets and I'll be honest with you guys. Um, <clears throat> I decided to use my folding sheets with you guys because I, I use my flat sheets when I'm kind of paying a little bit more attention to what I'm doing. You know, when I'm here with you guys, I really have to like let it go and not, not try and be trying to get something else. Don't clean it. You want all that paint to pile up on there because that's what gives you all that yummy texture. You missed eight minutes. Oh my goodness. And that was all the good stuff we were saying, Lori. <laughs> to go back and fast forward through the replay. So now a lot of these look really dark and, and you know, this is like kind of blah, not much of anything, but picture taking um, a metallic glaze over the top of it. And then it's going to pop. Yeah, Amazon, well, Amazon here has lots of deli paper. I'm not sure about where you are. Let's see if we can get a little bit. Yeah, that's good enough. Just want to get to where I'm good enough. That's going to need more. And I don't mind the curls. Hey, Debbie, hi. Yeah, I know you happen to work for a living. That gets in the way. Yeah, smushing is a is a fun technique too because you just don't have to think about anything. Just let's see, let's add a little bit of white in here. Yeah, stencil with gold or copper on top of it. Um, the metallic uh, sprays would be great. So I don't ever mind when stuff gets really dark. But like I said, I was using the wrong side of my business cards. So I don't know. I may be doing jelly jelly printing for a while. Just because once I get it out and I don't feel like any of my paint bottles are even approaching <laughs> getting empty, but that's okay. All right, let's get my little guys down, although I'm going to have to dig out my bag because these guys are so wet. And then we'll see if I can show you guys. A couple people have asked about cleaning it. So Debbie's channel, you guys, you if you love mixed media, you need to go check out Kip's Corner. Debbie has some fabulous tips on doing mixed media, and she's recently put up a video about um, waxes. A lot of people have questions about waxes. And some more of my little papers here, because these are just too much fun to play with. Oh, there's my other one. This guy down. Let's see what else we can get here. All right. I'm just gonna use this to press these guys down. I don't want the heart. I bought a whole bunch of things with hearts on them because I, you know, I love hearts and hearts look really cool. And uh, bye, Annis. Thanks for stopping by. And I realized hearts weren't doing it for me either. Yeah, the paper masks, I mean, you know, look at this. How cool. There's just some great stuff happening. All right. So I got my bag so I can let these guys dry out. It's nice as the paper ones dry up with the paint on them, they do get a little stiffer and they last a while. Uh, no, it's unwaxed. Well, it might be kind of waxy on one side, but it's not like the heavy wax. It's just so much easier to print with than tissue paper or rice paper where you have to be delicate. I like the tissue paper and the rice paper for other things. I don't have them in use too much. All right, let's see. What are we going to put over the top of this? Let's put some yellow over here. <laughs> Zoom meeting. Go make yourself gorgeous, Brenda. We'll see you later. Thanks for popping in. Well, see now the big plate I used too much. 
or the little plate I used too much, the big plate, not enough, but it's okay. Yeah, you know, the nice thing about a jelly plate is it's so forgiving. It's so forgiving. You know, and when you're building up layers, you can't do anything wrong. You don't like it, you just do something else. I use parchment paper on the jelly paper on the jelly plate the same way. Wax paper, you know, it'll stick. But this stuff, if like slightly waxed on one side, oh, this is yummy. Look at that. I love it. All right. Ah. Does that want something else? That might want something else. Let's get some. Oh, we need to do something else on here. We're just going to put a layer transparent layer. All right, so here's what we're starting with. Yeah, backs of napkins are great. I tend to like the backs of napkins and tissue paper for stamping on. Not quite as, as delicate. You know, you don't have to worry about it quite as much. Eh. Don't like it as much anymore, but that's okay because we can fix it, right? We can fix it. Oh, I was going to do something else and I just forgot. <laughs> All this craft paint is really getting boogery. All right, so I'm putting paint out here where it's all dried on the sides. Those of you that were talking about cleaning off your plate. This just a little more. You're still on the fence. <laughs> I can imagine, Debbie, the amazing art you would do with it. Yeah, you know, I, I like them for different things. I love the round ones just for the shape. But this one, let me get wet paint over there. Okay, so let's just take some deli paper. And I just want to get the edges here. I don't care about the other stuff. But the main point here is to get the edges. Whoops. How do I store my plates? Probably all the wrong ways. Every time I read how you're supposed to store them, I realize, oh, I'm not doing it that way. I'm not doing it that way. For the longest time, I was putting them back in the containers because that's what I read that you were supposed to do. Now I put them on some um, printer paper, just some plain printer paper. And I have one drawer in my painting desk and they all just go in there. All right, so look at the grunge I'm pulling off of here. And I'm, you know, this is a lot easier when you're not trying to film at the same time, but you're getting this great grunge. Yeah, I need to pull that a little sooner. Yeah, you just need a mold and you can make it whatever size you want, size you want. Look at that. How cool is that? So this one wants to come up, ah, looks like it wanted to come up as a skin, which is also cool. All right, that's some great, great skin. Patty's gonna go down the paper marbling hole, wow. All right, we wanna clean this up a little bit, we can do that. I have not had the interest in that. Um, Jamie, artist, poet, girl, I think she does a lot of that. Let's just see if we can clean this edge off here. All 
<laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is, is, you know, everybody says, oh, don't do that. And then that's the way they've done it. I've done mine like that for years. But I mean, the, the paint that's on here, it's not coming off really because this paint's been on here for like a year. Yeah, and I've heard that about the pitted texture. Um, let's see, I want to lighten up that other one. Uh, let's get a little something else in there with it. Yeah, it, it depends on what you're using your jelly plate for. For doing papers, like what really bothered me was I would have the eight and a half by 11 paper and using it on the, the smaller plate, the eight by 10 plate, I couldn't get all the edges covered in one shot, whereas I can when I'm doing it with the big plate. All right, let's just add some more of these little guys. I mean, how much time did I have on my hands to do this? But sometimes you get a magazine that's got that heavier paper and it's it's great for making these masks. Okay, Lori, take care. Come share some more with us in the group. Post your video. Oh, these are a whole bunch of hearts. I don't want any hearts. Evidently, I need to make some more little paper guys. Did not store them very nicely, but it's okay. You know, just getting the designs down are what matters. Let's just, all right. Well, that seems to be a whole bunch of hearts. They'll be doing a whole bunch of these later. And you could do these with some thicker paper would be awesome too. All right, let's see what we can get on top of this guy. Yeah, the pitted texture. I just, since all my jelly prints are all about texture, I don't care. But I know it really bothers some people. Oh, if somebody could grab the link to Sharon's channel, that would be awesome. Look at, see, already, look at that. How interesting is that? So what I can tell you is I'm not crazy about having the straight lines, but that's something that I could just tear on. Oh, thank you, Patty. There's Sharon's channel, Nana. Did we get Tuesday's channel in there earlier? That one's not a good one to use. Yeah, I've got some acetate I think I'm going to make some more masks out of. So it's like, I'm not going to freak out. My stuff is sticking to the plate. These are just magazine pages. So it's no big deal, right? It is no big deal. Except for the fact that it's taking me more time to clean off the plate. Everything in life is no big deal, really, right? I mean, you know, we're dealing with health issues. We're dealing with, you know, pandemic issues and things. But really, in the moment, if we think, am I, am I okay right now in this moment? I'm fine. I'm picking pieces of paper off my jelly plate. I'm fine. All right. Let's add green, right? Of course we add green. Why do I not have any empty bottles yet? Let's add some brown. Thank you. There's Tuesday's channel. So I have a question for you guys about the group. I've been doing on Mondays, I've been doing a new color every week and we post things around our colors. Do you want to keep going with colors, going through the same colors again where we just post different things? Do you want to go like themes, like now post a flower or you know um, trees or something like that? How would you like to make that work? Mm, I need some designs on there. I can't just do that. D 
dinner's overrated. <laughs> well, we'd love to have you here too, Lori, but I bet your family probably wants to eat, huh? They're picky like that. They get grumpy when they're hungry. Yeah, I mean, please, you know, people ask each other questions. We're there to support one another. It's wonderful the way we do that. This one's almost done, I can tell. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking about that. Um, Victoria, it's kind of multi, you know, I would like to get everybody's social links, but I also want to make sure that the group isn't just, you know, come and post your links. So I might just have people, I don't know. Um, I'll send you a note about that later. Arlene says, I like themes. Okay. Sharon, I was just thinking in the group, you know, I, on Mondays I've been posting, um, you know, post something, you know, in a certain color. And then we all are posting in the thread on a certain color. We could go through the colors a few times, but I thought maybe we might want to do something else. Both mix it up. Yeah, that might work, Lori. Look at that. Isn't this is just yummy. I love this, guys. I love this. Yeah, what I don't want to become in the group, you know, I don't care if we stay small forever. I love that we're growing, but I don't care if we stay small forever because what I don't want it to become is a place where we all just, you know, people drop their links and then they never come in the group. It's like, I want you guys to be subscribing and commenting and supporting one another because they're, you know, active supporters of, of this group here. Pin posts for channel links, any others get deleted. Oh, that's a thought. I have another thing I'm going to do in the group, people, and it, this was a hard decision, but I figure it's my group. Um, I am going to start posting when I have a new kit. I am going to start posting that in the group. I figure, you know, if it's my group and I'm doing the, <clears throat> the admin stuff on it and trying to support you guys, then, you know, it's not like I post a link and expect everybody to go over there and go shopping, but when I post a new kit, I am going to post it in the group. Because I have a feeling things just get lost elsewhere. Whoops, pasting, going right over my little mask there. Thanks, Debbie. Okay. You know, it's just, it's hard because it's self-promotion, right? And it's one of those things that we all have difficulty with. So I've got, um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you two hints on kits that are coming. I've got the leaves coming in three different colors. That's, that's not you know, new, new. It's the same leaves that we've had out there already, but they're in, in three different colors. Uh, but then there is a little visit to the Tasmanian rainforest coming up. And there is some architecture coming up, which I had a whole lot of fun with. Yeah, I, you know, it, it was a hard decision Tuesday whether to do it or not, because, you know, I, there's the part of me that says, well, you know, I want to support everybody, but it is my group. And I, I will never be the kind of group that says you can only, um, post things made with my my kids that's not for that doesn't work for me i want to see what everybody's doing yes tasmania sharon can you guess who might have had that suggestion wonderful suggestion coming from a friend of mine in tasmania Tommy's working on a forest floor journal using my digitals. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to see what you create. Okay, this is kind of yummy. Look at that. So we need a little more reds and browns maybe, huh? You lived there when you were younger? Ah, oh. yeah, I um, I have been deep into wandering around Tasmania and uh, the very talented Penny Marshall lives there and has shared some of her Beautiful photos of the area, very inspiring.
So I hope to get that finished up this week. Yeah, I like my travel from the couch. <laughs> I'm not big on travel. California, we have to get a real ID, which is a lot of paperwork for me because my name's changed a few times. And so they just postponed it that when we need it for like another, I think another two years. And I'm so glad because I've got to gather all the paperwork. Work for your paycheck. Yes, Debbie. So you can buy more art supplies, right? And create more beautiful art. I guess I'm going to be cutting up some more masks because this seems to be my thing. Well, I guess I didn't lie too much when I said playing with stencils. They are kind of stencils, right? A little bit. Just a little bit here. What else? Yeah. Do them the next time without straight edges. Okay, Tuesday, take care. Hope you're having a fun, creative day. I'm almost done with this, guys. I'm about ready to call it in, too. Let's see if we can. Yeah, Victoria, that, that's the thing. It's really hard, and they're saying, you know, well, you they want you to only post things used with their kits, and you can't use other people's design team stuff, and it, it does make it tough. Oh, look at that. This is so yummy. All right, let's get this last pool off of there and I'm I'm coming up on my time. Yeah, maybe I will. Um I've got a play date coming up with a friend, so I might use some stencils on that. I've got some stencils I want to use on my little books, but I have to use my little stencils. I don't know. I, I I may just be over my stencils. It might be time for me to sell off a lot. You know, most most of what I have. I probably have a hundred stencils, and I probably when I'm using stencils use like five or six. All right, let's do. A little bit of white with just a tiny bit of green. Maybe. Oh, the homemade one. Um, yeah, I will reuse these stencils as long as they hold up. Which is nice about getting the paint on them because then they do tend to, you know, stiffen up a little bit. Well, one of the things that makes it easier to post in a lot of the places is... You know, if you're like, if you're doing, if you're making a journal and you're using, you know, a bunch of different kits, but it's not a, an actual design team project, just don't put all the different names in the description of your video or in your posts. Just talk about it in the video. It's hard when it's a specific design team project and you want to say, say I'm doing this for, you know, whomever. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's getting more and more difficult. This is going to be good. I just have a good feeling about this. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's juicy. Okay. I think we've got some really cool looking papers here. Yeah, Patty's very generous in her group. So see, now I cleaned off some of that brown. How cool is that? Let's see if it's still kind of wet there. 
You know, and we've all done it. We've all had mistakes happen where we posted the wrong things. I have been booted out of a group for posting the wrong thing at the wrong place. It happens. And I was really embarrassed for quite a while. All right. I think I'm right here at 1.30. I think it's a pretty good time for me to stop. Let me move my plate out of the way if I can. Um, no, actually what I'll do is I'll just grab my little thing here. It's still a little bit wet there. All right, let's see what we've got here. Again, this is that masking paper for painting, so it's kind of shiny on one side. I print it on the other side. The deli paper, I love this. Love this. Ah, okay, so the deli paper has definitely been a fave of mine today. Ah, this one might be my favorite. I think there's more buried somewhere. And then I have all the cards and stuff that I did like this, but there's some... Um, Oh, there was one I didn't use. There's some great papers here, some great starts. But the deli paper is so awesome for collaging. Thank you, Carmen. I am I am very happy with this today. And look at that, guys. I did not use a single leaf. Can you believe it? Oh, and how do you know you've had a good day painting when your hands end up like this, right? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and for the supportive and inspiring conversation because it makes my Wednesdays absolutely awesome. I hope you guys are all going to go off and have a wonderful creative day doing something terrific. Oh yeah, I forgot. I did use the leaf stencil though. See, this was cool. Look at here. I'm finding more pieces, more pieces. All right, guys, see you in the group. I will see you next week. And thank you again for helping me reach 7,000 subscribers. I am in shock and very happy. Have a great week, you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.